It's VE Day in Oxford in 1945. The war in Europe is over and people are celebrating in the streets. A scientist hurries through the crowd protecting a delicate model of wires and corks. It shows the structure of penicillin, a major breakthrough that will help protect all these people and many more in years to come. The scientist works in a makeshift basement lab with a single window at the top of a rickety staircase. You have to climb the stairs for light to examine the results. Her name was Dorothy Crowfoot Hodgkin, and she was a pioneer of protein crystallography, a revolutionary technique. It was a way of seeing individual atoms and molecules, meaning scientists could picture things thousands of times smaller than could be seen with a microscope. But it would take another 19 years and solving the structures of vitamin B12 before she was awarded the Nobel Prize for Chemistry in 1964. Her work would revolutionise biochemistry, shape our understanding of living organisms and contribute to the growth of modern medicine. Since that award, over half a century ago, how many other British women have won a Nobel Prize for science? Zero. Hardly surprising, given that so few women are in senior positions in science, academia or industry. Where are the women professors? Where are the women in STEM careers? We are getting better at encouraging talented girls to pursue science, to study science in university and to earn PhDs. Then, after they become highly qualified scientists, we see a huge drop-off. This is a well-documented problem called the leaky pipeline. Report after report confirms that women who take a career break, for example, to start a family, are very likely to leave science. This is having a major impact on all of us. It is hurting our ability to address the urgent problems the world faces today. Research reveals that being in a diverse working environment forces us to think harder and make fewer assumptions. Diverse groups share more information, take more risks and solve problems more effectively. We urgently need to attract women back to science after they have taken a career break. We need them in research in particular. This is where you come in. We are creating a five-year fellowship named after Dorothy Hodgkin for a scientist returning to research after a career break. These posts are essential, but are very rare and in huge demand. Having the five years is important. So is flexibility. So is mentorship. It is designed to knock down unnecessary barriers which mainly affect women. You can help inspire the change we need. Make a gift to support a future scientist today. Act quickly and your gift could be doubled. Go to dorothyhodgkinproject.com now. Together, we can call on science to change. Please share your support for this campaign. For women. For science. For all of us.